Hey guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the Bankroll Challenge. Today is Sunday, and we are going to be playing the weekly $5,000 Bonanza on Global Poker. Um, we qualified for this tournament by playing uh, at least 500 flops in any ring game, and we did that playing 2 cent, 4 cent. Uh, and yeah, the action's kicking off right now at 3 o'clock. This is a basically a free roll tournament. It's 11 cent buy-in and has a $5,000 prize pool and it had, looks like it ended up with 1,026 uh, runners. So that's pretty amazing value for us. Um, I would guess that we're going to be playing with some people that are pretty, pretty mediocre. As crazy as it sounds, we actually have a note on somebody. A red note that says terrible. That might be from when we were playing on the site before we uh, started the bankroll challenge. Um, so in addition to this tournament, we are going to get some cash games going on. Um, let's check out, we'll also check out the uh, poker form for your hmm. Interesting. All right, so click on over here. And check our option with 6-4 offsuit and we'll lose all interest in the hand immediately. <laughs> um, let's see what kind of action we got popping off in the, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Yeah, let's get in here. It's like the two cent, four cent tables are going great. Wow, how does this table have such a high average pot? It's got so many short stackers. Uh, still not interested with our 6-4. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to change our mind into being interested in that hand. Yeah, we are definitely letting that one go. Let's see if we can get another table. I think having three tables going is pretty uh, pretty reasonable. I'm not super interested with that one either. And most we have on this guy seems like an action player. Okay. Not sad about that one. Go ahead and get our uh, volume fixed again, as per usual. Yeah. Let's see what it does when we hit the tile button. That is not what we want. Oh well. Be all right. And we're not getting involved with queen three. Queen 10 suited, we might be uh, getting into the action of the tournament over here. So we got a raise. Kind of a big raise, but I think we're going to go ahead and see the flop here from the button. <clears throat> hmm. 8 4 3. End up turning a straight up here. Go ahead and lead out. Um, we're not going to be continuing with the queen 10, unfortunately. We do get a call. We just loathe that river card. We take it down, though. We're now playing heads up with this, this guy right here, which we're actually not too sad about. I think we could play some heads up <clears throat> and be all right. Hmm, not our favorite flop, but it looks like he's pretty scared that we have an ace, so we'll go ahead and lead out. We're also gonna lead out over here in the tournament. Don't like that he just calls. We're gonna go ahead and bet again though. See the familiar face of Mr. Goon. Called again. He must have an ace. Pocket queens, yeah, I don't think he was folding. Hmm. Go ahead and continuation bet after flopping top pair and a Flush draw, but it's not really a flush draw that we're excited about. 
Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep on betting. I don't think there's any way we're behind right now. Seems very unlikely that we'd be behind. And take it down, all right. Queen nine. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do against somebody with that small of a stack. Um, I think we're just going to let it go. Queen 9 suited, we maybe get involved. It's just It's very weird playing against somebody with such a short stack, so... Okay, Let's see some diamonds. None of those are diamonds. We started off the day at about $85, so we have some work to do. We would really like to uh, cash this tournament down here. That would be huge. Actually, let's see how huge that would be. It would be about... That would be $5.50 huge. We'd like to final table. Let's say, let's go with that. Um... I think we just call. I'm pretty happy with that flop. Like I've said many times before, it's really weird trying to figure out what to do against somebody that's playing such a ridiculously short stack, but we're going to do our best and we'll take it down. So, all right, that works for me. Mm, open up the action with ace two of diamonds. We've seen two calls so far, so we are just expecting some more calls. People in the micros do seem to uh, be very fond of calling. Um, not a very good flop for our range, so we're gonna go ahead and let it go. <clears throat> this tournament has a fairly uh, quick structure. Turn a pair and get that into. I don't think we're interested anymore. That uh, this flop is just like so perfect for the big blinds calling range and the buttons calling range. So go ahead and keep on noting people that we've played with as yellow. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a Sunday afternoon session, so we expect there to be. Uh, Pretty solid action in the cash game streets, but hey guys, I'm here for the tournament. I don't know if you can, yeah, see? Got our upswing gear on. There's no two on that flop. We're gonna go ahead and continuation bet. I think we can pretty reasonably represent the uh, the ace since we opened up pre-flop. He does not believe us. we we'll see a king roll off. Pretty sure we're gonna be firing another barrel. We lay down the queen four in the tournament. It's not too exciting, but tight is right in the early stages of a tournament. Our C bet does take it down. Not getting involved with 6 2 offsuit, obviously. <laughs> Ace king, let's go. Let's play a big one, guys. Um, I think we will be out of position, but it's too tempting to raise over limper. And we take it down. Queen five is not going to do it. That seems a little large. How about that? We're letting him know with the ace king. Let's see what Blood Drunken has in mind. He has nothing in mind, and we'll take it down. All right. Win a couple of a row, couple in a row. Not meeting with a whole ton of resistance here on the cash game streets, anyway. Not too sad about that flop. But definitely gonna try to see a flop with pocket fives. Go ahead and continuation bet our... Ooh, we flopped a set. Let's go. Let's go. 
Please don't fold. Please don't fold. That is close, but not what we wanted. Any raises. We're going to raise them back. Maybe we just call. Let's just call. We're slow playing it. I need checks. We're going to go ahead and bet out again. We miss our straight. I'm going to try to. S oh, he shoves on us. He's got aces. Got him. Whew, that's a big one. We'll take it. And our bluff gets through over here. Let's go, guys. We are we're in the profit today already. Let's go. That was a good one. He just shipped it in on the turn. That wasn't even a good turn for him. He just shipped it in. Huh. We will take it though. No complaints here. None at all. Let go of the 10-3. Almost the exact same hand. Haven't had a whole lot going in the tournament. We were very happy with that uh, hand in the cash game. Seemed like a very aggressive ship there. After, yeah, after he, I bet he raises, I call. The turn is a spade. Which puts a flush draw out there. Puts four, to, four spades, like four to a flush. Or not four to a flush, not out there, but uh, like puts two spades out there. He just ships it in. It also completed a straight draw, which he should have probably been more concerned about. <laughs> he just wasn't worried. See if we can flop another set. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and call from the big blind with our queen jack offsuit. Hmm, not quite. Ooh, we do not like that flop. Pocket jacks in the tournament. Go ahead and three exit from under the gun. Not getting involved over there. Lower over here. No diamond. Over here, no pair. Barely any draw going on. <clears throat> See, we get one caller. Ace high flop is not our favorite, but we're going to go ahead and C bet. A little less than half the pot. Get called pretty quickly. Hmm. Go ahead and raise over limpers over there. Go ahead and lead out again. We'd love it if he folded and didn't. I would love it if he didn't have an ace. He could have hearts. I think we're going to try to. Try and just check it down. Just check. Queen three. What is happening? All right. A little note for that guy. We take it down. I'm pretty happy to take that one down. Things got a little sketchy for our pocket jacks, but ended up working out in the end. Not sure what he was doing with uh, queen three. Blood Drunken, you can have this one. Uh, not getting involved with that, even though it's him. Very happy to see this be a chop, so we can uh, continue to have a chance to get those last 1,200 chips that OMG has, since he seems very determined to just spew them off aggressively. Yeah, so far, so good. We're off to a decent little start here. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh, now we're going to go ahead and fold. <clears throat> so taking advantage of, like, promotional things offered by uh, the site in a bankroll challenge can be, like pivotal like let's say we uh make some kind of nice deep run in this tournament 
we could be playing higher stakes by tomorrow if uh like let's say if we final table it we'll be very likely playing higher stakes if we win it we'll be definitely be playing significantly higher stakes tomorrow in tomorrow's video so let's hope we can hope we can make a little run here that would be crazy if we did we're still super super early but oh where are we at with our ace five dear lord call so we can see see some hands i was looking to pick up information oh he shoves whoa King and a pointy card, but it is not an ace. Jack eight offsuit down here. Probably not going to get involved. Actually, definitely not going to get involved. In a little lull in the uh, the hands here, I haven't gotten a whole lot there for I don't know four or five hands at each table. Well, not maybe not four or five, but two or three hands at each table. But uh. Can't complain too much. We've been gotten off to a pretty good start. Flopping a set against pocket aces is pretty nice. Although the way he fired it in, I don't feel bad because like clearly he was gonna fire it off to somebody. Check our option with eight seven offsuit. Ooh, flop a flush draw or a flush draw. Oh my god, flop an open ended straight draw. Not super excited about the fact there are two spades out there, but. We are super excited about turning the nuts. Turns out turning the nuts, very good. It's a great strategy. The more you can turn the nuts, the better off you are. We're dropping the uh, the deep strategy. Turn the nuts. Ah, you got to turn the nuts and get action though. Pretty good flop for our eight five of hearts. Looks like the action is not moving crazy fast in the tournament. That's okay. Tournament's a marathon, not a sprint. Super happy to have a flush draw over there also. Um, not really sure what to do on that table. Go ahead and bet half the pot on this table, though. See if Glitter Build wants to uh, get involved. We're definitely not folding. Kind of sad to get the full over here. Kind of sad to just get a pair over here. We are trying to get a flush, not a pair. <clears throat> Who knows? Could have saved us, though. We're not going to get to find out. Looks like OMG is slightly running it back up. OMG shows King Jack. Oh, yeah, OMG. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, we're going to try to get OMG's chips. In classic flip situation turns out pretty great for Ace King. And Raven Guru's got a stack down here. Not going to be getting involved with Queen 7. Not going to get involved after an open from a super short stack. Eight three is not going to cut it. Not running super hot as far as starting hands goes, but we are definitely profitable so far. We're down about a dollar over here and up about three seventy-five over here. We would like to get back to within. We'd like to get back into the black, but we'd really like to get back into striking distance because we had had a disaster tilt day that uh, knocked us backwards quite a bit. Our last session was profitable though. Once we final table this tournament, we're going to be way into the profit. It'll be time to start playing lots of tournaments and some higher stakes cash, which is what we'd really like to be doing. We'd really like to get into that. Don't give away all your money, OMG. 
good. Oh, whoa, OMG's playing up here too. Interesting. Go ahead and open it up with pocket fours. Not looking to get crazy pre-flop. We'd like to see a flop like that. We'll take settle for one four though. One four on the flop. Please and thank you. Where does everybody fold when we take it down? OMG's getting in the mix though. Oh, he's getting in the mix up here too. King Queen against a boat. OMG gets wrecked in the cash game. See if we can wreck him in the tournament. No four. We're gonna go ahead and bet out anyway. From what we can tell, he could literally have any two cards. And we'll take it down. All right, up to four thousand in the tournament. King Jack. I think from under the gun plus one, we're gonna let King Jack go. We only have uh. Not a whole lot of blinds. Not a whole lot of blinds at all. Go ahead and try to flop a set against Rookas. Rooka? I don't know how to say that. This guy. And this guy. None of those are twos, though, so we're pretty disappointed. We'd like to see this check through and us get a two. We could check raise here, though. I think we will check raise here, because we have a lot more sevens in our range than he does. And we'll see if we can convince him we have a seven. Or maybe he'll just, even if he just calls, we can always hit a two, and really, that is not what I expected to happen. That, uh, that kind of throws off the whole deal. Probably going to need that two now. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Him calling was very unexpected. If we're going to lead out and keep trying to represent our seven, just fold. Have a flush draw and just fold. Just fold. We got ace king in the tournament. And we get shoved on in the cash game. That is disappointing. I guess he had a seven and was trapping. Ugh, sad. That was a big hand. Well, sometimes check raises don't work out. Let's double up in the tournament. Somebody somebody go crazy. Come on, super stick boy. He's thinking about it forever. And fold, fold. Well, we'll take down the blinds. Always helpful in a tournament. This guy seems to be sitting out. Maybe not, I guess it would say sitting out, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, that's what happens when you pull the trigger on a on a bluff. On a check raise bluff. Very odd though. Don't expect him to show up with many sevens there. You'd think he would just bet out. But <clears throat> I mean I guess we don't know that he had a seven, but if he didn't have a seven, we really got wrecked. So we're gonna go ahead and keep telling ourselves he had a seven, which seems likely. And check our option, flop bottom pair and a backdoor flush draw. Not the worst flop for our hand. We're gonna go ahead and open up with queen nine. We are very sad that we just gave that guy all of our profit from the pocket fives hand from earlier. But you know what they say, no gamble, no future. Hmm. Okay. Lay it down in that case. Not sure what is happening over here. That's a very small and confusing bet. My instinct was to call, but bottom pair. Mm -mm. Ace King again in the tournament. Let's go. Somebody freak out. Let's get a double up. 
OMG has less than 10 big blinds. Should be deep into shove or fold territory, I would think. This guy has snap folded a lot of times. So if it folds us, we'll be opening up again. Hmm. We'll flop a very interesting straight draw against somebody who unfortunately has very few chips. Try the let's try the small size continuation bet. Get called. See a 10 on the turn. Become very confused about what he could possibly have. Use a small sizing on the turn. Get called again. Become even more confused. River essentially the nuts, but we feel like he probably has a six as well. He calls and he does have a six and we chop it up. That, that right there was some lame sauce. Go ahead and defend our big blind with king seven suited. Very dry flop for us. They unfold it facing a half pot bet. Flop top pair over here though. Pretty happy with that. Go ahead and lead out. Not that much though. Get called by the short stacker again. Betting half the pot seems like a, a good way to get paid, generally. I think people think you're just clicking buttons. Not super excited about that uh, river, but we are happy to see him check. I'm pretty sure if he had anything, he would just... Uh, Just to go ahead and shift it in there. Okay, we'll take it down. 3 2 offsuit and A2 suited are not going to get it done. This guy seems to be pretty active. Maybe he's just running hot. Hard to tell with a small sample size. Pocket 10's up here. Gonna go ahead and three bet. We will have position for the rest of the hand, so that's good. Oftentimes, wonder how people come up with their screen names. Like, that doesn't make any sense. P F L R J. That doesn't make any sense at all. How do you even come up with something like that? And he just ships it on us. Hmm, with pocket tens, what do we do? Ace queen, we definitely raise it up in the tournament. Hmm. I think we gotta let it go. Pretty sad, but that's a big shove, so. Unfortunately, we don't get a. Uh, don't get to see what he had. Hmm. Big pot for us in the tournament. Unfortunately, we whiff the flop aggressively. Just don't think we can continue there. Pocket nines and ace eight. It's like OMG is gone from the tournament as well. Put a little note on Rookus. Jammed over three bet. He checks. I think we have to check back there. Very nice turn card for us, I believe. He checks again. I think we can go ahead and bet out. Might be able to just take it down right here. 
Not sure what he could have. Maybe like pocket eights or something. Although I don't necessarily think he would fold pocket eights. <laughs> Who knows? Time to try to flop another set of pocket twos. Queen six suited. <clears throat> Not going to be getting involved <laughs> against this dude. Very confusing. What exactly we're supposed to be doing against uh, somebody that's short stacking so short? Hmm, it's a pretty bad flop for. Well, it's a pretty great flop for his range, so I think we're going to check it over to Mr. Goon, who checks back. I think we can lead out here after we pick up a really bad flush draw, but <clears throat> after he calls and then checks, like, yeah, he's just not going to have very much right there, I don't think. <laughs> Time to get something going in the tournament here. 713 players left, I believe, is what, or 717, is what it's saying right now. <laughs> we'll take the walk. This guy has just tightened completely up after winning that big hand against us. Not getting involved with deuce five offsuit, obviously. <clears throat> Gonna be time to start making some moves. The blinds are 150 and 300. As you can see, we only have like 11 and a half big blinds. So, time to be, time to be shove or folding. Until we build some kind of stack. And we're gonna build a stack, ladies and gentlemen. We will be trying to play the $5,000 Bonanza every Sunday. Um, won't be hard, at us, hard, hard for all, at all for us to see 500 flops, which is what you have to do to uh, qualify to play that tur the tournament for 11 cents. So we will certainly be playing that every week. Six five suited in the tournament. Interesting. We will not be too sad to get to check and see a flop. We open it up here with ace five off, so you can get two callers. And we're gonna go ahead and see bet. Check our action with six five of clubs. Flop bottom pair. Not super pumped about that. We'll go ahead and open it up. From the button with queen four of spades. Well, I just really have no freaking clue what we're supposed to do against this guy with no chips. I don't hate our hand, like we've got two pair. What do you have? King nine, we'll take it down. So weird. Just don't know what to do against him. Go ahead and raise over the limper and the guy who completed from the small blind. He calls and leaves five cents behind. Go ahead and complete from the small blind. Flop nothing. Flop the nut flush draw over here though. Let's go ahead and bet that. We're gonna bet down here also. And we're going to bet over here. And we'll get to see what he has. 6-3. Okay, well, we've got him in big trouble now. And we'll take it down. And we took down... That was, a, that was an important pot right there. <clears throat> They're all pretty important when you have, like, 12 or 13 big blinds. 
there's no amount that you can, uh, there's no amount that's ever going to be in the middle that you're not going to care about. Just the blinds and annies are vital for you at that point. We're about even in cash, I think, since we're up a dollar. Since we're, I think we're about even at this table. Yes, yeah, so we should be about, about even in cash. Just looking to make a run in this tournament. Looks like there are 628 players left. As the blinds and annies keep going up, I'm sure we'll see that number decrease rapidly. Like, very rapidly. Looks like a pretty quick tournament, but you can't really complain because you're playing for $5,000 for 11 cent buy-in, so... We will take it. Glitter build seems very determined to uh, three bet us relentlessly. Fluff a backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. A lot of good turn cards for us, so if he bets any reasonable amount, we will be calling, but he checks. I'm gonna check it back. Total brick for us on the turn. Check it one more time. Very good, very reasonable flop for us over here. And he checks again. Kind of expect him to raise us here. He folds. Interesting. Call the raise from DSB and turn a pair. So now we've got a pair and a flush draw. He bets half the pot. I don't think we have to raise here. I think we can call. We'll take the eight of clubs or any heart. The eight of spades. That was very close. Good try, Global Poker. That was very close. Thank you. Thank you for that. And the question is, can we raise here for value on the river? I'm expecting a bet from him. And we get it. I think we do go ahead and raise for value with our three of a kind. Hmm. I'm a little bit scared, but not too scared. He can have king, queen, he can have ace, king, ace, queen. I just don't want him to have king and pocket kings or pocket queens. Well, no snap call, so we're feeling pretty great against those. And he folds, huh. Well, good fold by him, I'm, I'm guessing. It might have been an easy auto fold. He might have had a fl bigger flush draw that bricked out and since he had no pair he had no no real option to do anything besides fold there <sighs> under 10 big blinds in the tournament guys this guy reloaded for a very small amount again that's half the pot we are not letting him do that no top pair good kicker he calls, which just makes no sense at all. And we're going to rip it on him here. Kind of expect a call with maybe a flush draw. Pocket eights. We'll take it. And he just rebuys for a dollar. Well, I think we're back into being profitable after punting off a nice stack over here to this guy who is slowly dwindling it away. Tournament's going okay. We're in 307th place out of 590. But we don't we're we're very short, like everybody else in the tournament, I'm sure. So now's the time to start picking up some hands, making some moves. Seven queen, that's not gonna do it. Gotta pop it on the chat. Humble. Huh, who knows? Um, I think we're gonna go, gonna go ahead and raise it up. With our king jack off. That is a loose three bet, but with what glitter, yeah, you know, glitter builds had going on, I don't feel too bad about it. And he folds, so we should be way ahead of what of Rookus's range, although he did jam over our three bet earlier. We take it down. 
Here's a hot take for you guys. Bluffing is very live in the micros. Bluffing is still good. Don't think since you're playing the micros that you don't need to bluff. You can have a very profitable red line playing in the micros. <clears throat> Oh boy, do we want to run it up today? Let's run it up today. Got $76 in the account right now. I want to turn that into a whole lot more. 76 plus 13. It's 89. You get back over 90 pretty easily today and keep on keeping on. As the saying goes. Gonna have to start picking up some hands in the tournament. Oh, three and six hundred. We're we're a huge favorite to be all in at some point. Uh, very soon. About to get hit by the blinds, which are huge. Let's give us give us something reasonable. Give us ace queen suited in the big blind. Not even asking for something crazy. King do suited. Eh. Could be worse. <sighs> see, is Cowboy held him doing anything? King Jack called an all in with 5 3, so we'll take that one down. Um, yeah, we're not, not getting involved now. Pocket kings. Pocket eights and ace jack. Holy moly. Oh, pocket eights get there. Aggressively. All right. He opened, checked a queen seven nine flop. And we bet he folds. All right. Six three offsuit. I don't know. I don't think that's going to quite cut it, guys. It's very hard for there to be. Yeah, definitely not going to cut it now. Holy moly, that's tough. We did not want to have to fold our big blind and our small blind. We are on fumes. Fumes in the tournament. Fumes. Ace, 10 against pocket kings. Wow, the big hands are out there. When's it our turn to get a big one? Apparently not this hand. Swimming giraffe. We got somebody else play that we've played with. We need a hand. Two, six. Yikes. Not getting anything good. We're very happy with how the cash games have been going, but we need to pick up a hand in the tournament stat. Also, six four is not gonna cut it. This guy amuses me. He just keeps buying in for a dollar. Keeps busting, buying in for a dollar. Like, how's he gonna get any good at playing deep if he just buys in for a dollar every time? Like, what if he runs this? What if he runs his stack up to a full like hundred big blinds? Like, what if he ends up? What if he gets four dollars? Does he just quit, or does he keep playing deep stacked and having no idea what he's doing? Like, he just bet two x pot. Like, I don't, I don't see a way that, that would really be great there. King four. That's not gonna quite cut it. Oh, we need something good. It doesn't even have to be that good. Definitely open it up with Ace-4 suited under the gun over here. Or early position. I just always, I've always called the first position to act under the gun. Good call from the small blind and the big blind. Flop a straight draw and a backdoor flush draw. Not getting involved with 4 3, even though it's suited. And we take it down over here. <laughs> we got two short staggers at the table now. Oh, we raised it to heat sense. The old min rays getting in there. Do seven. It's getting worse, guys. We're actually getting worse hands. Need a better hand. Can't afford to pay the blinds again. Gotta gotta double up. <laughs> Pocket 
Pocket fours. All right. Pray for us. Because it's sailing it in right now. Four big blinds. We will happily take folds. Fold. Hey, we take it down. Unreal. Double up, basically. Pocket kings up here. Eight four this time. We need a good hand in the. <clears throat> we need to find a good hand in the small line. Get it all in up here with ace king against jack four and river the straight on him for a big giant 19 cent pot. And he leaves. He got busted up too bad. All those min buy ins, he lost them. A dollar at a time. Maybe he's trying to maximize his fun. Oh, 10-4. That's not going to work. Maybe we can get a walk. That would be a miracle. No, we are not getting a walk. All right. Well, we're not getting involved with 10-4. Hmm. We're also not getting involved with jack-6. Ace-3 from the cutoff. Especially over a limper. We're going to go ahead. Ace-8. It's going to be going in here, guys. The big blind's all in for less already. It's going to be going in. This is why we're here. This is why we're here. We're here for the tournament. Got a call. Jack five. Oh, we get an ace. We're in good shape. We're in really good shape. We're real happy. Full double. Let's go. Up to 6,200. We're peaking in the tournament, guys. Jason Somerville style. Peaking in the tournament. We're now in 206th place? Question mark? Is that really where we're at? Or are we about to is that about to update? I'm not sure how fast that updates. Well, we don't know what to do up here, so we're gonna bet. Go ahead and mark Claude Jr., who we haven't marked yet. And we'll take it down, alright. And that's why betting when you don't know what to do is sometimes good, especially in a small pot. Because it can't be that big of a mistake, in theory. I don't know. That might be some slightly flawed logic there. But uh, uh, it worked, so we're happy. This table seems to have calmed down aggressively since the short stacker left. I'm going to go ahead and call from the small blind queen jack suited. We could have three bet, maybe. Flop top pair. We're going to be checking our entire range here. We're definitely going to be calling there. You can call here and try to flop a set. Don't flop a set. Call down here. Eight. We will take a non-diamond ten in a heartbeat. And we're going to be going all in with less than ten blinds with ace-jack. Well, that's very confusing. And we're all in in the tournament. Pray for us. A, we take it down. Taking down the blinds is huge. So up to almost 8,000. Only 390 people left. That is a big bet on the river. A well, top pair. A lot of the draws bricked out. Well, maybe not a lot, but the flush draw bricked out. Um, yeah, I think we got to pay them off. If you got it, you got it. We got Queen Jack. You have nothing. Not a zilch. Get out of here with that. People try to bluff us. I don't know why they'd bluff us. I've got a shirt in my closet that says I don't fold. I don't even fold my laundry. Don't try to bluff me. It doesn't even make any sense. Also, that also also that bluff didn't make any sense. So we'll take it. Things are looking up, guys. Things are looking up. Jack-10 will be raising over limpers. Jack-10 offsuit from early position. I don't think so. Full note on this guy. Oh, pocket sevens and a raise. Pocket sevens, less than 10 big blinds still. Sailing it in. We're here for the tournament, guys. Let's, uh, let's not get busted out of the tournament. Oh, God. Come on, not the player. Let's go. Oh. Pocket sevens. Seven's always coming, right? That's the saying. A seven is always coming. Fold. 
Oh, he calls. Oh, he's got aces. Oh, seven. Oh. Well, we got 357th place in the tournament. Nothing to do with less than 10 big blinds and a pocket pair like that. Except for be really disappointed when you lose. Ugh. Oh, we are disappointed, guys. 357th place in the tournament. We gotta wait a whole week to play in the weekly bonanza again. Mm. That's tough. That is tough. I wasn't paying attention. We were close to the money. We were actually getting, like, kind of close to the money, but there's no way we could have been, like, trying to fold into the money with, uh, Less than ten big blinds. That's not gonna, not gonna cut it. Mm -mm -mm. Well, let's concentrate on the positive. We have quite the cash game session going right now. We might add one more table and keep this going for a little bit longer if we can find a good table. This one looks pretty reasonable. Then hop on in. Size back to where we had it before. There we go. Take it down with a pre flop open with ace eight. We've got it all in over here. I think we have a short stacker. One of these guys. I think it was, I thought it was Nova that I noticed immediately. Yeah, he's just snap buying in for a dollar. Pocket nines over here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tough one. It's tough to get anything going in tournaments lately. If we double up there, we're in pretty good shape. Why couldn't you have ace king instead of aces? Go ahead and three bet our pocket nines against Mr. Goon. We called and flop a nine. Ooh, close. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can rep our rep an ace. And take it down. I get involved jack four. Looks like we will be somehow seeing likely seeing a flop with a seven deuce offsuit from the big blind. Seven seven deuce, nope. Alright. Do we have a straight? I don't think it, I don't think it can be a straight. I think we're gonna bet. <laughs> he calls us with ace king. All right, good call. This is a family pot over here going on. It's kind of crazy. And we're gonna raise over limpers. I like our chances against anyone who's named Claude Jr. 1987. So, uh. Although that does seem like the kind of flop that a person named Claude Jr. 1987 would love. But he folds. I'll take it down. Go ahead and come along from the small blind with 3 2 of diamonds. That's not a, uh high frequency play, but it's something that we'll do every once in a while. Not the worst flop, but not the best flop. Flop a pair and backdoor flush draw. Just like snap. That's pot. Huh. Well, I don't think we can hang around, unfortunately. If there was if there was the ace of diamonds, we'd be we'd still be in there. <laughs> Probably gonna start winding the session down a little bit. Um, let's see how much do we have the tables. Four, fifteen, 
21 dollars 21 plus 71 by my math is 92 which would be a nice little profitable session for us that we would be more than happy with since we have had some struggles recently King Jack and Ace King Ace King holds on no problem looks like our read about people named Claude Jr. 1987 was dead on open it up with Queen Jack suited folding 9-2 offsuit obviously Getting called by Rukas. A flop that is very clearly not our range. We don't really expect him to notice that, but we're going to check it anyway. <laughs> Four of spades. I think we're going to go ahead and bet small here and see if we can just take it down. I don't know if he folds. Maybe he folds some king highs. I'm not sure. But we took it down, so it can't be too bad. Got an open from the button and a three bet from the small blind. So nine seven of clubs going to the muck. And now we're sad ish. Go ahead and make the call against Mr. Goon with our ace nine of clubs and flop the nut flush draw. So we're real happy about that. He checks. We complete our nut flush draw. The only thing that could beat us is six four of clubs. We're going to call and try to get it in on the river. And we really hope he bets. Uh, he checks it down. Oh, wow. Wow, how do we not win more? How does he not bet there? He really thinks, we're like, oh, he's got to have an ace on the river? Wow. Hmm. That is... Hmm. Hmm, flop a flush over here after calling two cents from the small blind. Looks like they're about to have a straight on the board over here. We whiff the flop over here. Get called, ace please. Yeah, that's not the worst card. Not trying to get involved over there. We hate that turn. Although it doesn't really matter. I don't really know what to do here against somebody with 67 cents. I guess he's got an eight or a four. Yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> Not really sure what we were supposed to be doing to combat uh, short stackers. Claude Jr. found himself a new table. Yeah, I think that's going to be our last hand over here. So we have about $72 right now. It's going to go to about 84 Uh, looking to get involved with the queen nine offsuit. Hmm, we are sad that the weekly 5k bonanza didn't didn't come to us, but it does look like a tournament that we can uh, we can make some noise in in the very near future. Looks like that'll be our last hand over here. Eighty three is gonna go to about eighty eight. That's going to go to about 92 or 3. That's a nice profitable day. Puts us back. I think that puts us back in striking distance, ladies and gentlemen. Striking distance of getting into the black. 
tomorrow, Monday, Monday is going to be the day that we get back into profit. Ooh, oh, maybe, maybe it can happen here. Don't fold. We got top pair in a flush draw. Why? Uh, just snap folds. We even bet small too. We're doing everything we could think of to keep them in there. Everything we could think of. We got one more hand over here. And that'll be all she wrote. And we're gonna be back in striking. We're gonna be two two buy-ins away from being in the profit. We went down, then up, then down. Now we're on the way back up. This up needs to be far enough to get us out of Stuckville. I believe we can do it. Seven four diamonds isn't gonna cut it, so we are out of here. So four fourteen plus eighty eight eighty seven. It looks like we're gonna be right at ninety three dollars. Seven dollars away. Not even two full buy-ins. We gotta win two more buy-ins and we'll be out of the hole. We can do it, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. If you want to see more tournaments, you want to see more cash games, you want to see more tables or less tables, you want to see more uh, in-depth about how we're playing and why we're playing the ranges that we're playing, just let us know in the comments. Uh, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one.